There is a twin spotted rattlesnake and here are two ridge nosed rattlesnakes. So why do we have rattlesnakes in a refrigerator? Oh, that's a big one, huh? Headed to a call in Glendale. Gentleman has a rattlesnake in his front yard. Um, I guess it was kind of moving around, but I think it settled down. He's keeping an eye on it. Hi. Yeah, I'm glad you got it. <laughs> How you doing? It just started moving. So. He's where, a big boy. where is he up on the hill? Thank you for watching. He was in your yard and then he moved over here. You've been here two days in a row. Two boxers pulled out of their collars and ran right up to it yesterday. Oh, really? Okay or not. Oh no. And the owner couldn't get them and it was pretty scary. Oh no. <laughs> Here's a big one. Really big. No, uh, I feel bad moving them, but dang, you know? Yeah, probably better back in the mountain. He's kind of far. By here all the time. Kind of far in. Oh really? Yeah. He's pretty. It is pretty. That's what I said. Everyone's like, you're crazy. I'm like, no, it's really pretty. Yeah, no, he's a pretty one for sure. You do right, bud. So we have a lot of rattlesnakes and a lot of them are rescues and that kind of thing, but we do have a few that we use for some other really cool things. This is one of the really interesting projects and the one that I am the most proud of that we're working on right now. So of all these rattlesnakes, we have some that are protected in Arizona that are really amazing. In here are two little baby twin spotted rattlesnakes. Actually, I see one. Let's see if you can see his little head. He's just poking his nose out. There he is. So why are these little gray rattlesnakes so special? Well, aside from that I like them, <laughs> they suffer from habitat loss in Arizona. There's not a lot of places where they can be found. So if you look up the montane rattlesnake species that are found here, like Arizona ridge nose rattlesnakes, banded rock rattlesnakes, twin spotted rattlesnakes, those have these little tiny ranges in the state. And while they might be numerous in other places, here they are facing a lot of challenges. Knowledge and a feeling of empathy is something that's critical to conservation efforts. I mean, there's a reason why it's easy to make a campaign around saving whales or saving birds. It's a little harder when it involves rattlesnakes. And one of the big challenges that we have here is that a lot of people are just unaware of the diversity of rattlesnakes that we have here in Arizona and the challenges that they face. So these little montane rattlesnakes, because they are protected, don't show up in a lot of those institutions. They're not in very many educational programs. A lot of the ones that are, are of poached origin, which is kind of complicated. And it's the reason why you're more likely to see some of these species in zoos and places outside of the state than they are here. Because here, if you're gonna see a ridge nose rattlesnake in a display somewhere, it means someone took it illegally and it was confiscated and it ended up back in the right hands, but still it's dependent on those poaching efforts. So what are we doing to help with that? We were given permission by Game and Fish a couple of years ago to go and collect a pair of baby Arizona Ridge Nose rattlesnakes and a pair of twin spotted rattlesnakes so that we could build up a captive breeding program so that we can supply some of these rattlesnakes that people need to know about without depending on the poaching economy. So if you've ever visited one of our displays, I'm sure you've seen them before because we bring them out whenever we can, but it's currently winter. So why do we have rattlesnakes in a refrigerator? Well, it's time for these guys to go down for the winter. So they've been here for a little while. You can just see in there, there is a twin spotted rattlesnake. And here are two ridge nosed rattlesnakes. I'm trying to get them down so that they are consistently in the 40s. That cold temperature is going to kick off some breeding behavior. So in the spring, when we wore them up, we're going to introduce them to each other and hopefully get some mating behavior out of that. And then a few months later, get some little baby twin spotted rattlesnakes and Arizona ridge nose rattlesnakes. This isn't a thing we make money from. It's just one of the things that we think is an important part of our work is to make sure that people know as much about these animals as possible. And a lot of times the best way to do that is to try and help other organizations that do similar things to what we do so they can continue their own work with those animals. So once those babies are born, we're gonna hang on to them a little while, make sure they're eating and healthy, get them to the vet, and then we're going to be distributing them to institutions, universities, places that you might go where you expect to learn about animals and they might be able to help. This big, beautiful rattlesnake. Thing's pretty big. Very light, I love when they're light like this. 
big snake. You later, buddy. I am off to another call headed to Cave Creek. She let her dogs out and they were barking all weird and she went outside and there's a rattlesnake on the back patio. It's hilarious. <gasps> there he is. Tortoise. Hello? Hey, it's Marissa. Um, did you want me to meet you around back? Yes, we're just sitting on the patio watching them. Okay, perfect. I'll see you in a second. Hello, how you doing? I was gonna say I've been here before. <laughs> Oh, that's a big one, huh? Really big one. Yeah, healthy. Yeah, she's yeah, eating good. Yeah. Saw your tortoise. <laughs> she's cute. He's out. Yeah, everything's out today. It's nice and rainy. <laughs> well, I'll poke around and see if you have anybody else. All right. <laughs> All right. Got this guy right here, and he's fired up. I'm just going to dump him out because I'm kind of in a weird spot. Hopefully. There he goes. Big snake. See you, bud. That worked out way better than I thought it was gonna. I mean, I did plan it like that, but it did work out. All right, well, that was a big snake. They get big out this way. Uh, just so much good habitat, lots of horse properties, lots of food and water. But thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.